Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Gravy Talks. Uh, today we have an in-house guest, uh, Muzammil, with us. He is the head of uh, the licensing group here at Gravy. He is the man behind the 5G report that Gravy published. Uh, this report got cited eventually by IAM, Bloomberg, the US Department of Justice, the US PTO and the like. And uh, he's the expert on 5G from, from Gravy's. And, and today we wanted to talk to Muzammil about the, the entire situation of 5G SCPs. Uh, where is this trend heading? What is happening new in the industry? And uh, Muzammil, great to have you on this show. Hi. Welcome. So, uh, thank you, Dhruva. Um, I think I should say it. It's been my childhood dream <laughs> to be a part of podcast, especially gravy <laughs> talks of Dhruva. You know, the great Dhruva, uh, you know, it's, it's being lovely here. Yeah. Great, great to have you. And uh, so, Muzamil, let's kick off by talking about uh, the 5G SCP report. Uh, I, I want to know from you the, uh, you know, the story behind this entire thing, like where did this idea originate? How was your experience of, of going through uh, the, the patterns and, mm -hmm. you know, doing this report? When you started, did you think this will turn out to be something as big as this? Uh, what happened behind the curtains? We would like to know that. Well, no, Vince, I, uh, I had never thought that this would be such a huge thing in the market, but we had some ideas. We wanted to give this to the industry. So I still remember it was like uh, in 2017, 2018, you know, the litigations in the 4G, they were at the peak. Uh, the talks about the 5G had started um, and there were a lot of research papers, articles coming out, you know, in the market which were talking about which company is leading the 5G research, you know, which type, you know, which type of, uh, you know, companies are going to launch that first. So all that, that, that was happening. During that uh, 20, 2018 era, we had also seen a lot of litigations where the reports, these kind of reports were used by the uh, you know by the juries hmm. to you know for for the for the verdicts right hmm. and uh, at that point in time it was it was like that similar thing has to be done for 5g so that was the that was the seed actually that's how it came to the mind that similar thing thing should be done in 5g because that is going to be that hmm. is going to and be and it was successor, probably the right time yeah um, but i think you know it was just an idea to implement it. I still remember discussing it with multiple team members, discussing it with Deepak Chakshu. How would be able? How would we be able to actually do such a, you know, such a study at at, at such a large scale? You know, analyzing more than ten thousand patterns. You'd need a very big team. You need investment. You need people who are experts in that, right? Um, how would we do that? So. Eventually, we kept on talking about it, you know, you know, we started creating a plan, we created a plan with a journey that if we start from here, this is how we want to end up and, uh, you know, we end up publishing the first version of the report in uh, 2020. Hmm. And that's one when it clicked us, you know, in the first version, we, we did around 6000 patterns hmm. and a lot of traction, it got a lot of traction, you know, a lot of companies cited it you know media houses cited it they started coming into you know to interview us wanted to talk more about this a lot of companies means whosoever had a look at that report that guy wanted to talk to us hmm. so i took around more than 200 calls in the in in one year in that 2020 itself where we were talking and explaining about our methodology and that's where it clicked that clicked us that this is exactly what the you know what the industry needed hmm. so we continued doing it and then publish the next version and it, the next version it just exploded yeah great great and you know we talked about this was a huge effort like 10000 patents 10000 plus patents manually analyzed yeah. by your team of researchers uh, there must have been so much coordination required uh, you know quality checks making sure that the assessment is unbiased and uh, fair and uh, correctly done a uh, huge investment of, of yeah. you know, all the hard work that went into it. 
why that investment why why did you think that that it would be worth it what would it mean to the industry your thoughts on this well i think it has two you know it has two things that we wanted to you know achieve by doing this this kind of you know large study uh one of course you know we wanted to project gravy as as one of the experts of the 5g domain and because we have like we have been doing a lot of research you know patent searches in the telecom domain for more than 10 years now right mm. but somehow we felt that that's not enough that's not what you know that we, we are doing it we we are good at it at it but what next the next is to play a role in the licensing negotiations to play a role where the ip scp licensing licensing comes into the picture mm. and for that for gravy to project as an expert it was very important that we produce something that is actually utilized by the industry and that's where we thought that maybe this would be a good idea <coughs> sorry and for the industry i think you know talk about any case let's 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 talk about tcl versus you know ericsson or unwired versus mm. huawei or apple versus ericsson you know all the you know lt cases that happened where the damages or the you know the the essence of the case or the you know crux uh, or the central idea of the case was related to the scp patents mm. somehow at that point in time when those were happening nobody had the idea that how many patents which are declared when i say declared that which you which the companies are saying they are essential to the uh, to the standards are actually truly essential to the standard mm-hmm. nobody had the idea so what they had to do they had to hire companies and you know figure out ways that how they can now quickly because the case was already ongoing that how they can now quickly um you know do this manual kind of study and present it to the court that mm. maybe this percentage of the patents would be it would be essential so we thought that if those answers are needed if those type of in, you know that type of information is needed why not we provide that type of information do it before they yeah proactively people. before they actually end up fighting uh, into the litigations or start mm. with the licensing and when we did that we realized that that was so very much needed in the industry mm. everyone was like that you know i talked to a lot of attorneys a lot i talked to the you know the decision makers in the top telecom providers who have the most declared patents and everyone agreed that yes this is needed mm. you know, we want it right and uh, when you know when it is such it is on such a high demand i believe that um this 5g scp report that we had published you know it actually uh, it actually came on the right time mm-hmm. because you know the start the, the shift is developing. happening you know people are coming from going from 4g to 5g mm-hmm. and you might have seen in, in india as well that a lot of companies are now coming together to launch 5g mm-hmm. so even the layman has started talking about 5g in the in in an year or so we'll start you know seeing litigation in the 5g so it has come at the right time mm-hmm. now people understand gravy has the expertise to do that mm-hmm. so it means that all the industry they can now come to gravy and maybe talk about whether you know they can we can pursue any further studies or they can use it as a gold standard if they mm-hmm. want right very strategic move and you know you talked about timing of this report and i feel the standard was still developing at that time the data was limited and everyone got to see the trends very early on in this stage there was a clear indication of who's leading research mm. in 5g and at a very early stage of course now mm. i think the declarations have tripled yep. if not doubled and uh, there's there's yeah. more data but while we talk about uh, all the manual analysis that mm. gravy did on this uh, there are many articles or many uh, you know areas that suggest that manual analysis is very tough surely because it is so effort intensive you know there's manual reading involved uh, you're spending hours and hours on on families it's it's a huge task it requires more effort and hence more budget mm-hmm. at the same time market offers certain ai solutions that are yeah. cheaper solutions 
but then there are talks where you know these solutions they have discrepancies in the data yeah uh, i want to gather your thoughts on okay uh, the ai versus the manual uh, thought well, process it's, of it's, scps it's a never ending debate yeah, i think not only 5g scps it's a debate that's happening in every industry ai versus manual <laughs> you know is ai going to overpower us uh the robots taking the world <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i believe not you know at least you know what i can see uh, from my experience and from what i have seen in the industry not at least in the 5g scp space uh so let okay let's let me you know start by citing an article that was published in iim uh, and you know there's there was another article which was you know published by bird and bird two birds in its law form both of them talked about that it is very difficult to produce a manually essentiality check study right at the same time both of them agreed that you cannot rely on ai because we don't understand the algorithms hmm. now when i read it when i read this you know of course since i have done this you know manual study i have my own opinions my own uh, for example experiences my perspective is that we understand that ai is not reliable at this point at least at this point in time right mm. what happens after 5 years you know let's not uh, maybe think about it but you also understand that the data you know that is declared it is very essential to understand which patterns are actually truly essential to the standard but mm. ai is not reliable what are you going to do Hmm. so you have to you know get it checked by manual you know by a manual intervention now now when companies say that it is difficult i'd say it is not difficult it is just expensive you hmm. need to put some money investment in right that's the only thing there are hundreds thousands of experts you know ip experts you know uh, telecom experts we have a team of experts who in and out are doing this doing doing this essentiality checks right it is expensive but i think we here talking can consider it as an expensive thing but related to the amount of money mm. that depends on this particular report right. or how much particular do you save study. how much do you make ra yeah absolutely like this. so there are billions of dollars which are ex- getting exchanged because of the scp licensing terms mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and these are the thing these these are the, the billions of dollars that i'm talking about these are the ones that we get to know by reading the articles by talking to different people but there are a lot of uh, licensing agreements or the out of the court settlement that happens that that do not come out in the industry mm. so it's a it's a billion dollar industry as a whole so if you're going to spend a few million dollars you know if companies come together and spend a few million dollars in identifying who actually leads who let's forget about who actually leads let's just talk about that what's the actual ratio of truly essential patterns to the ones which are declared you know mm. i think it would be easier in the in the licensing negotiations it will be easier for the juries to you know get to a verdict it will be easier for the countries to understand where to invest more it will mm. be easier for the companies to understand which of their patterns are actually get you know coming truly essential and they can develop the portfolios you know accordingly mm. to mm. so there is a lot of dependency on the data and saying that it is an impossible task difficult task expensive task is not going to actually help out mm. what is going to help out is actually put that investment in mm. get it done if it it's going to take 2 years it is going to take 2 years hmm. but get this done because eventually at some point in time for example maybe in 2020 or 2023 the number of declarations are going to come down you hmm. know the standard will still be active for the next few years because it's just getting launched hmm. right so uh, my personal opinion is that it doesn't matter if it is difficult expensive or whatever but this is the need of the industry hmm. this has to be done if you are not going to do it somebody else is going to do it they will have the data but you will not hmm. Hmm. so they'll of course have the upper hand cool and with that you've answered my fourth question as well <laughs> okay <laughs> i okay. wanted to ask you to you so, know kind of summarize and tell us what the need of the r is and i think uh, you okay. you've said it in a very nutshell that 
there is a need for a unbiased report hmm. uh, with kind of po- probably a yeah. manual analysis which shows the true picture and then everybody gets to utilize that data and and do more fair negotiations hmm. uh, maybe lesser litigations lesser money spent in in negotiating rather than and and maybe better earnings uh, from yeah. it yeah yeah i think uh, you know it's it's very important for the industry to understand that uh, of course for the industry and for all the all the uh, declarants declarants even if they are you know coming out as new declarants to the 5g industry this this uh, standard is going to be applicable in a wide variety of technology areas so you cannot just limit it to telecom or the mobile handsets right mm. it is going to be healthcare it is going to be automobile it is going to be iot so there every device is somehow going to be connected to 5g in future right in the coming or in mm. fact you know it's already happening so now ip we already know plays a very significant role whether it comes to the research whether it comes to the money at the end of the day right mm. but it plays a significant ro- role and if we do not take it seriously seriously as in like if we do not consider it as something that has to be done and immediately done mm. right then after a couple of years you'd start realizing it and then you'll start it mm. so when you start it it'll take again a couple of years 3 years so you're already late mm. so right so it's more of like i talk to the industry experts and you do it now or you're not you're never going to get the data right right, right. so it's it's like that cool i mean this has been great muzammil of Thank course uh, 5g acps licensing together these these are topics that probably cannot be covered in in one yeah. small episode but let's call this a part 1 and then we'll we'll have you on part 2 and part 3 of of this discussion on 5g's sure and, sure and uh, hopefully we'll talk again thank you Thank so you. much thank you dua as i said you know my <laughs> childhood dream dream has now come true i can now you know sleep so. a peaceful life <laughs> i can have a you know peaceful life everything right? achieved <laughs> <laughs> bye thank, thank you. you thank you everyone thank you for viewing this and we'll come back to you with a part 2 of uh, this discussion with muzammil once again take care bye bye